you walk or drive down Main Street, you'll see sandbags and mud lining the road, but you'll also see business doors open as they start the cleanup process, like a new on Main. It's just been a nightmare. We just didn't know where to start. For Jim Rendy and his wife, this is a disaster. We had about a quarter inch to half inch of mud on all the carpeting in the entire store. Cabinets, glassware, and clothing covered in mud. We cleaned the carpet as best we could with wet, dry backs, and there was still probably uh, an inch of water under the carpet. You can just see how much mud and water the store got. Take a look at when you step on the carpet, all of it oozing out. They have been open for six years, and this is something they never expected. As you start cleaning that stuff up, it splashes, and there's no way you can control it. The mud you see on them, all from inside of their store as they try and clean up this mess. It started out just looked like a couple thousand, but every time we get into another box or into another cabinet or another rack of things, we're finding more and more stuff that was damaged. The destruction so bad. I've lost track of what the possible tally is on it. But Rendy and his wife stay positive, especially when the community shows how close knit it is. People from all these different businesses coming together to help each other out. Say they hope to reopen in the next few weeks. In Berlin, I'm Sasha Leninger, KOAT Action 7 News.